What is going on guys? So today I wanted to show you very easily the step-by-step -step process to take the iHealth COVID-19 rapid antigen test. This thing is super simple. I've used a few different tests in the past and this one is by far the easiest. So let me open it up and show you what you get and then how you do it. Again, super simple. Ready? Let's do it. So first things first, you're gonna open up the package, obviously, you gotta get everything out. Um, inside each one of these, you're gonna find two test kits. So this is going to do, one, one box is going to give you two, which is fantastic. So you've got your solution bottles, which are right here, okay? You've got your instruction manual, which will kind of be, tell you all the stuff that I'm about to tell you. You've got two swabs, and you've got two testing cards, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of each of these, let's get them all over here, set all those aside. Now this is very, very straightforward, very easy to use. What I like to do is prep the swab just like this okay so you're going to prep the swab where the handle is out so you're ready to go when that's ready to go okay i'm going to open up the card here uh, and we're going to pull out the testing uh, card right there just like that now you're going to take this fluid okay and you're going to tap it like this so that the fluid sometimes gets stuck up in the top and you want it down here in the bottom so now as you can see the fluid is down in the bottom exactly where we want it so now we are ready to take the test so we're going to go ahead and take the swab out and I'm gonna do my swabbing in my nose. And I'm gonna do, I'd like to do 15 seconds on each side. Uh, so let me do that really quick and get this thing all gunked up so I can show you the next step. So what I've done is I've got the swab. I think is all ready to go as you guys saw here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this orange cap. Okay, this is the larger of the two caps, just like this. You wanna make sure that you keep the, uh, the swab away from anything. Don't let it touch anything, okay? You're gonna keep that safe there. Now you're gonna put the swab down inside of into the fluid, right? So now that the swab is down inside the fluid and I'm gonna stir this around a good amount, okay? I'm gonna get this fully submerged, really let this thing soak a little bit. Now what you're gonna find is that the sides of this container are squishy, which means that you can pull the swab out a little ways and you can kind of squeeze it inside there and squeeze all the fluid out of it or as much as you can, right? Because what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to get a lot of the fluid that was on the swab inside the container, okay? Now I'm gonna put the swab off to the side, put that away, and I'm gonna put the lid back on here, okay? Now we've got my fluid in here, this is where all of the testing fluid, this is all the fluid from my nose, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew the little cap up on top. So there's a little tiny one right here, this one right there. We're gonna unscrew that guy, and we are going to then take this fluid, and we're gonna put three drops into this little dot right there. So we're gonna do one, two, three, and that is it, the test is complete. And now let this sit right here. It's gonna sit on a nice flat surface, ready to go. You're gonna see moisture starting to travel up the card, okay? What's gonna happen is if you get two dot or two stripes, uh, you are testing positive. And if you get one stripe, you're testing negative. So as you can see right here in the demonstration, um, two, it basically is positive, uh, and even, even if it's just slightly showing, you're technically considered positive, one is negative. So very, very straightforward. If the C says one dot and there's nothing in the T, you're good to go. So I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes and I will know my result. It's very, very straightforward, very easy to use. It literally took me a couple of minutes and you're all set. So definitely consider checking this out if you're looking for an easy test to do at home with your kids or yourself. Uh, but guys, as usual, I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.